from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. An update on COVID-19 cases in the county and your chance to win tickets to a holiday show. We'll have details in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Friday, December 3rd, 2021. It's brought to you today by the Lakeside Farmers Market. And now for the news. For the first time in exactly two months, Henrico has witnessed more than 120 new confirmed COVID-19 cases on a single day, according to the Virginia Department of Health. The county reported 122 new cases yesterday, a one week after Thanksgiving. That's the most it has reported since 129 were reported on October 2nd. Only two days in between witnessed more than 100 new cases. The county is now averaging 75 new daily cases during the past week. Henrico's seven-day positivity percentage among PCR tests is 7.2%. That's a bit higher than the statewide average of 7%. Its percentage among rapid testing encounters is identical to the state average at 6.6%. During a virtual press conference yesterday, Richmond and Henrico Health District officials continue to urge people who haven't been vaccinated to consider starting that process as a way to protect themselves and others with the winter holidays coming and the new Omicron variant also likely coming if it's not here already. Health officials aren't currently certain whether that variant is better able to penetrate the vaccine's defenses than other variants, but they expect that those who are vaccinated still will be much better protected than those who are not. RHHD officials also are continuing to focus recent vaccination efforts on children ages 5 to 11. So far, more than 6,800 of them in Henrico, or about a quarter of that population in the county, have now received at least one dose, while about 1,000 are fully vaccinated. Statewide, about 22% of children 5 to 11 have received at least one dose of vaccine. There will be more vaccination events for children and others at Fairfield Middle School on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and next Saturday at Elko Middle School from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Officials also are planning for additional events at Richmond and Henrico schools, starting with Title I schools to create a point of access for those with high rates of lower income students. You can read more about this on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking on COVID-19. The number of confirmed new COVID-19 cases in Henrico schools dropped last week, though it was a short week with the Thanksgiving holiday mixed in. There were just 62 reported cases and 370 associated exposures. That was down from 80 new cases and 534 exposures the previous week. Since September 1st, there have been More than 1,230 cases reported in schools, most in elementary schools, 649, followed by 306 in high schools and 258 in middle schools, as well as 23 in various other administrative buildings. There have been about 7,000 close contacts or exposures as well. These numbers are expected to rise when next week's report comes out on Monday. One school is already known to have had 10 exposures this week. Stay tuned and follow HenricoCitizen.com. Next week we'll have coverage. An employee at one Henrico restaurant found washing their hands without using soap and then making hamburgers. We've got details about that and other health inspection reports of Henrico restaurants from the most recent week. You can see them right now at HenricoCitizen.com. Click on Dining to read the complete list. And plenty of Christmas and holiday events taking place around town this weekend. The 38th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade will take place in Richmond tomorrow beginning at 10 a.m. For details, you can visit richmondparade.org. Also, your chance to see the Holiday Light Show at Richmond Raceway. It runs through December 30th. And also the 46th Bazaar Bazaar Christmas Collection at Richmond Raceway is in the midst of a four-day run. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday will close out the event. Still time to see the Dominion Energy Garden Fest of Lights, which just got underway last month at Lewis Ginter. And tomorrow night, the Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen will hold its annual Christmas tree lighting and illumination event. 
That'll get underway at 4.30 p.m. For a complete list of events, be sure to visit HenricoCitizen.com and click on Calendar. And tonight is opening night of It's a Wonderful Life at the Virginia Repertory Theater downtown. The show runs through January 2nd, and we've got two tickets to give away. If you'd like to be entered to win them, simply like us on Facebook. We'll pick a winner early next week. These tickets are good for any night of the show other than closing week. Good luck. Today's Enrico News Minute has been brought to you by the Lakeside Farmers Market at 6110 Lakeside Avenue. Be sure to visit them tomorrow from 9 a.m. to noon. For details, visit lakesidefarmersmarket.net.